Welcome to another edition of the SSC TV3 News. We are short-handed today, so I'll take a little bit of time to adjust this meter here for the audio, and there will be some delays as I run the other equipment. We are more than news. We have been televising news, events, and archives of St. John for more than 43 years. And with this year's Jubilee, we started our 44th year of continuous service. Also, during the month of May, all of the videos were added to the following playlists on YouTube. Programs, Features, TV3 News, City Council, County Commissioners, and School Board. At the present time, we have 544 subscribers and 1,389 videos on YouTube. We also have a number of followers on Facebook. We should have been added to GBT Streamit in early 2021, but as yet this has not happened, which prevents our live coverage of the City Council and School Board meetings. You can, however, watch the recordings of these meetings by going to Facebook or YouTube under the name St. John Community Television. Today is Wednesday, July the 20th of 2022. I am David Cutright and I will be your host for today. This is a live view of the city park a little after 10.30 a.m. The sky is partly cloudy. The winds are out of the northeast at 16 miles per hour. The temperature is 88 degrees and the humidity is 35%. Yesterday was, by all local standards, very warm. When I went to set up for city council, this is what I saw. I did not have time to set up my tripod, so all I got was a couple of stills. That is right, that says 113. Prior to yesterday, the highest temperature I had captured was 107 degrees last year and 105 degrees in 2020. These are the features that will be on our show today. Housing update, buck moon, and goat roping. We also welcome press releases and public service announcements. Just bring them by the studio or send them to ssctv3 at gmail.com. Here now are some of our sponsors. Please let them know that you appreciate their support of our local news. It'll take me a wee bit to get this one up. And now, the school announcements. The monthly Board of Education meetings are supposed to be telecast live on the local cable channel 3, which I am told once we are in stream it will be number 403, 403. However, at the present time, they are only available as a replay on YouTube and Facebook. The days and times will vary. The next Board of Education meeting will be Monday, August the 8th at 7 p.m. in the basement of the Goodman Library. These meetings are sponsored by the City of St. John and the SJN Bank of Kansas. Online enrollment and registration will be ready around the 1st of August. Information will be sent to parents when the system is ready to go. Information will also be posted on the school website and social media. USD 350 has two full-time positions available for cooks. Pay is based on experience and has paid benefits. 
The minimum wage is $11.50 per hour. Go to Fisher A at USD350.com or USD350.com for an application. If you have questions, call 620-549-3564. And now, some city announcements. The city council meetings are supposed to be telecast live on the local cable channel 3, which in the future will be 403. However, we are not on stream it yet. But these will stay on the first and third Tuesdays of each month at 7 p.m. However, at the present time, they're only available on YouTube and Facebook. These meetings are sponsored by the City of St. John and the SJN Bank of Kansas. During the last several years, a number of the dilapidated houses have been removed and their lots have been cleared. Now one of these reclaimed lots is getting two houses and an empty lot is getting one house. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Although this question is a grade school poser, it can be asked of jobs and housing as well. Which do you need first, housing or jobs? Actually, they have to grow systematically together. St. John, in the last several years, has had more jobs than houses. A number of potential employees chose not to work here because of no housing, and a number who have chosen to work here anyway have to commute. These three houses will be available in the near future. This is a move in the right direction, but we still need more. And now for some around the square announcements. After a very unique jubilee, St. John is gearing up for its next big event, the annual Around the Square Car Show. It will be August the 27th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. All cars will be welcome. Follow the Around the Square Facebook page for details. Raffle tickets will be available starting August the 15th. All proceeds will go to the Jubilee Fund. And now some county announcements. The county commissioners' meetings are recorded each Wednesday morning at 8.30 a.m. and played back on cable channel 3, which will be 4.03 in the future, at 10.30 a.m. on Thursday. These meetings are sponsored by the City of St. John and the SJN Bank of Kansas. Stafford County Health Department is reminding parents to make sure that their children are up to date with their immunizations. Also, all preschool and kindergarten children must have physicals before attending school. If you have questions or need to schedule an appointment, call 620-549-3504. The Stafford County Sheriff's Office is looking for a full-time evening dispatcher. Applications can be picked up at 209 North Broadway or by calling 620-549-3247. The Stafford County Sheriff's Department is looking to fill a full-time road deputy position. The requirements are listed on the TV3 bulletin board. For an application or more information, contact Stafford County Dispatch at 620-549-3247. Here now are more of our sponsors. Please let them know that you appreciate their support of our local news.
general public service announcements. If you have announcements that need to be included in this portion of the news, bring them by the studio or send them to scctv3 at gmail.com. Gregory D. Winter, age 56, passed away Monday, July the 11th. The family will have a private remembrance at a later date. Catherine Jane Smiley, also known as Kathy, age 65, passed away July the 13th. Her funeral services will be Saturday, July the 23rd at 11 a.m. at the First Baptist Church in Stafford. Burial will be at the Stafford Cemetery. The 2022 swimming season has been paid for by the Trinity Community Church of Hudson. This means free swim for all, all summer. The pool hours are 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Friday and 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday and Sunday, except in times of inclement weather or if the air temperature is below 76 degrees. Stafford County Drug will be providing free school supplies for preschool through sixth grade students for Stafford, August 1st through August the 4th, for Maxville, August 5th through the 10th, and for St. John Hudson, August 11th through the 16th. Coffee and visitation is available at Kenwood Plaza on the second and fourth Fridays at 10 a.m. Also, however, Stafford County COVID level is high. Staff and visitors to Kenwood will need to wear masks and take vitals at the door. If you feel ill, do not visit. Feel free to call the main number, 620-549-6133 to talk to loved ones if they do not have a phone. The Goodman Library Book Sale Room, summer hours are now 3 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. on Thursdays. There are thousands of used books, CDs, audiobooks, DVDs, and videos. Proceeds help support programs and improvements to the library. First Friday Arts and More will be August the 5th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Larrabee Memorial Library in Stafford. Marsha Basie Bowerly will have sunflower paintings Janet Basie Harden will be the vocalist and Linda Hebert will be her accompanist. There will be sidewalk chalk art for the kids and food for purchase, potato bar and pie. For more information, go to facebook.com slash Larrabee Library or call 620-234-5762. Many times the Kansas skies are cloudy and we cannot see unique celestial activities. However, last week the skies were clear and I could shoot the moon. The full buck moon of last Wednesday evening at 222,089.3 miles from Earth was the biggest and brightest supermoon of 2022 because it was at perigee, its nearest point to Earth. The full moon names used by the Old Farmer's Almanac come from a number of places, including Native American, Colonial American, and European sources. The most common names in our part of the world are January, Wolf Moon, February, Snow Moon, March, Worm Moon, April, Pink Moon, May, Flower Moon, June, Strawberry Moon, July, Buck Moon, because the antlers of the male deer are in full growth mode at this time. August, Sturgeon Moon, September, Harvest Moon, October, Hunter's Moon, November, Beaver Moon, and finally, December, Cold Moon. Sandy Land Shepherd Center announcements. We are located straight south of the fountain at 110 East 3rd. Martha Cutright is the director. This is also the home of SSC TV3, and I am the director. The new hours for the Sandy Land Shepherd Center are 9.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Tuesday through Friday. We have the military pictures from Hoods Haven. Many have been returned, but many remain unclaimed. If you would like to have yours back, come to the center during regular hours. We can also add pictures to the veterans video that is running at the Goodman Library. 
If you see changes that need to be made or pictures that need to be added, please let us know. We can do this very easily. Coffee and News is now each Friday at 10 a.m. Come for coffee, snacks, and conversation. Then stay to watch the TV3 News at 10.30 a.m. This change better fits the St. John News cycle. We also have health equipment available for loan. Currently, we have walkers, wheelchairs, cranes, canes, crutches, commodes, toilet seat risers, and more. Call us if you have a need. We also accept donations of lightly used medical equipment. Please note the July Lunch and Learn for this month will be this Friday at noon in the basement of the Goodman Library. Jerry Doc Rock Simmons of Haviland will provide the program, Old Bones and Old Rocks. The program and light lunch are free, but be sure to RSVP today. I didn't get a print there. It'll be the Sunflower Senior Center. This service is housed in the Witts Community Center that is located straight north of the Stafford County Annex at 215 East 3rd. Sandy Smith is the director. Its daily hours are 9.15 a.m. to 3.15 p.m. Monday through Thursday and 9.15 a.m. to 1.15 p.m. on Friday. Coffee and conversation time is every Tuesday and Thursday from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Play pitch Wednesdays at 1 p.m. except the last Wednesday of the month, which is reserved for the monthly bingo program. The application and current requirements for the Commodity Supplement Food Program are available at the Sunflower Senior Center. And bingo will be July the 27th at 1.30 p.m. Bring a candy bar to play. Prizes provided by USD 350 Recreation Commission. The next TFAP distribution will be August the 30th from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. The Stafford County Seniors Annual Picnic will be Saturday, August the 6th at 6 p.m. in the Stafford County Annex. The meal will be catered by Wheatland Cafe. RSVP to your local senior center by July the 29th. Free will donations will be accepted for the meal. This event is sponsored annually by the Stafford County Council on Aging. Over the years, I have recorded numerous programs and community activities, but Saturday I shot something new, goats. Rest assured, not a single animal was injured during this event, just somewhat annoyed. <laughs> help our channel better serve you with quality and informative programming. We have a lot of good stuff happening in our area and it is our goal to bring these activities to those who cannot attend. 
If you have items that need to be announced on TV3 or you have an event that would benefit from video coverage, we would like to hear from you. Give us a little notice and we will be there. Just call 620-253-0037 or send a message to sscTV3 at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. God bless and help the USA.